the next track in the F1 calendar and another unlikely candidate to see a wet race anytime soon is Jeddah. Now I do want to get a wet setup created for every track in F1 23 so despite the lack of rain potential at Jeddah, I still want to jump in and create a good wet car setup. Now I'm not going to waste any time and I'm going to jump straight into the aero. And for this setup I've gone with a front and rear wing aero of 25 which is up from our dry setup by 3 to 5 points and this is just to give us a little bit more downforce which is really crucial in the rain. Of course you don't want to increase it too much otherwise you're just going to be really slow on those really long straights around Jeddah. And then for the transmission the on throttle diff I've kept at 50 which is the same as our dry setup and I've lowered the off throttle diff a little bit down to 51 just to help with a little bit of slow speed rotation. For the suspension geometry I've gone with minus 2.5 and minus 1 on the camber and then for the tow I've gone 0.04 and 0.16 which again is a bit of an increase over our dry setup for stability and responsiveness. For the suspension setup, I've softened things down a little bit because typically a softer car results in a more stable car and during extreme weather conditions such as heavy rain, you want the most stable car possible. So I've gone with a front suspension of 21 and a rear suspension of 3 and then an ARB at the front of 8 and at the rear of 1. And then for the ride height, I've increased both front and rear ride height a little bit just to avoid any aquaplaning, give a bit more ground clearance to 38 and 41. While a brake setup of 100 and about 55-56% on the brake bias was the norm after a while with our dry setups, for the wet, I think 95-55 is going to be about where I'm at for most tracks. And then for the tyres, I've gone 23.4 and 23.5 on the fronts, and then I've lowered the rears a touch to 20.1 on both left and right. The lower rear pressures and increased front pressures are designed to help a little bit with responsiveness at the front of a car and also increase traction at the rear. If you do struggle with sort of excess tyre temperature buildup or excess tyre wear at the front, you can lower the pressures at the front a little. And if you struggle to heat your tyres up at the rear, then try just boosting the PSI just one, two or three points at the rear of the car. And that completes our second wet car setup for F123. Now I said that Bahrain was pretty enjoyable in the rain. Jeddah isn't quite as fun, simply because of the really high speed corners and you're constantly on edge. But please do let me know in the comments below how you find this car setup and whether you actually need to use it during career or league racing online. Also hit that subscribe button if you do want to be notified when any new F123 videos drop, any new car setups drop. But for now guys, I'll see you on track.